Hi guys, welcome to Learn Maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at algebraic fractions. Now before we do, I'd just like to introduce the new competition that we're having to win £250 each month in 2021. Full details will be discussed at the end of this video, so make sure that you watch all the way through to the end. So if we take a quick overview, the algebraic fractions, they follow the same rules as regular fractions with the addition of letters as well as numbers. So the four rules that apply to add, subtract, multiply and divide, they still apply to algebraic fractions. These questions often require factorization, so whether it be a common factor, a difference of two squares, or a triromial, it often requires a bit of factorization either on the top line, the bottom line, or both. Now I'll put a link in the description to each of those videos and how to factorize them individually um, to give you a better understanding of how to factorize. They also include the laws of indices uh, in order to solve these questions. So a lot of the time you can be dealing with x's and y's to different powers and we need to be able to manipulate them when we divide powers, so using the laws of indices. And only common factors on both the top and bottom of the fraction can be cancelled out. This is one of the, the points that tricks people up all the time is they try and cancel out non-common factors on the top and the bottom of the fraction. The only way that you can simplify a fraction or an algebraic fraction is that there is a common factor on the top and the bottom. And we'll have a look at an example just shortly. So question number one says express 4x minus 8 divided by x squared plus x minus 6 as a fraction in its simplest form. So it is a fraction already, however it wants it in its simplest form. So that means that we are probably going to have to factorise the top and the bottom, but we'll do them individually. So the top of the fraction is a common factor. Now we can see we have a common factor of 4. So we can take the 4 out and that will give us 4 bracket x minus 2. And then the bottom of the fraction is a triromial. So in order to solve that, then what we are looking to do is find two numbers which will multiply together to give you minus 6, but add together to give you plus 1. Now, there is a full method which is shown in the Triromial video, which I've put a link in the description, on how to solve these in depth. But for purposes of this video, we're just going to assume that we can do this fairly straightforward. So we get x plus 3 and x minus 2. Because 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, and 3 plus minus 2 is plus 1. So that gives us the required values. And then if we replace the trinomial with the two brackets, we can see, and with all algebraic fraction questions, something will cancel on the top and the bottom of the fraction. That is basically the whole point of the question, is we need to see what is going to cancel on the top and the bottom. In this case, we have the common factor of x minus 2 and x minus 2. So we can cancel these two out, and that will give us our final answer of 4 over x plus 3. And that's how you would go about solving that kind of problem there. Now the next one gives us two separate fractions and asks us to express these two as a single fraction in its simplest form. So again we'll write out the two fractions and we will solve this using the kiss and smile method because we need a common denominator on the bottom of the fraction. So the kiss and smile is you multiply the first fraction top and bottom by x plus 2 and then the second fraction multiply it by x minus 3 top and bottom. 
So it'll look something like this. That way we have x minus 3, x plus 2, x plus 2, x minus 3 on the bottom of both fractions. So now what we can do is break the brackets on the top of the fractions and that will give us 5x plus 10 over x minus 3, x plus 2, plus 2x minus 6 over x plus 2, x minus 3. So then what we can do after here is combine the top of the fraction because that will allow us to condense it into a single fraction. Now we don't add the denominators because these are exactly the same. So all we do is add the top of the fraction. So we get 5x plus 10 plus 2x minus 6. And all of that is divided by the x minus 3, x plus 2. And then if we tidy this up, we get 7x plus 4 over x minus 3, x plus 2. Now, always check if the top of the fraction can be simplified, i.e. we could potentially have another common factor here, so we'd have to take that out as a common factor and then see if anything will cancel on the top and the bottom. However, in this case, it doesn't, so that is our final answer. However, when you reach this point, Always remember it's in its simplest form. So that's where we need to check, can something be cancelled or can something be factorised further? In this case, it can't. And that's how you would go about combining two algebraic fractions into one and then simplifying. So now it is your turn. In order to enter the £250 prize giveaway each month in 2021, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment the correct answer in the comment section below to this question here. Now, each correct answer per video will count as one entry into the prize giveaway each month. So this question here is in two parts. The first part, part A, is we have to write the reciprocal of the formula that is given above. Now the reciprocal being that this is 1 over r. So the reciprocal is r. So we need to change this from 1 over to r. And we can do that using algebraic manipulation. So you must comment that answer and then part b is determine the value of r when r1 and r2 are 6 and 4 respectively. So in your answer, there should be two parts. You should have the formula, which is part A, and then you should have the final answer, numerical answer, in part B. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below, along with the correct answer to the question we just seen, and we'll see you in the next video.